hello student welcome to all of you next physics lecture this is the video number 23 and chapter number 2 mechanical properties of fluids now we are to see here the last topic that is the terminal velocity now you have to ask the question define the terminal velocity and derive the expression for this terminal velocity now we have to find out the terminal velocity v is equal to 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g upon eta this expression we have to find out here for that purpose we have to first define the terminal velocity what is mean by the terminal velocity this terminal velocity is nothing but it is the constant maximum velocity and which is acquired for the body falling through the viscous liquid and which is called as the terminal velocity where to first define the terminal velocity that is the constant maximum velocity which is acquired by the body falling through the viscous liquid which is called as a, a terminal velocity where to for that purpose we have to consider the diagram we have to as shown in figure this is the viscous liquid up to that part and this is the small sphere which can be the falling through this medium viscous liquid then there are the two types of the forces act on the sphere and this is nothing but the total upward force that is equal equalize to the up thrust force and plus viscous force totally this is nothing but the a total upward force at the same time that means at the terminal velocity this both forces which can be the balanced that means the total upward force is equivalent to the a total downward force and this is as shown in figure this is nothing but the a total downward force and this is nothing but the viscous liquid through that this sphere can be the falling through this medium and the velocity at which these two forces upward force that is the sum of the thrust force and the viscous force which is balanced by the total downward force which is equivalent to its weight mg at that time the terminal velocity is created now we have to see the here expression for the terminal velocity this is the diagram for this let r be the radius of the sphere rho be the density under the gravity then the sigma is the density of the liquid eta is the coefficient of viscosity we have to see this coefficient of viscosity eta then we have to consider here as the downward velocity increases then the viscous force also increases as the downward force which can be increases then the viscous force also increases and the stage reach when the sphere attains the terminal velocity and at that terminal velocity the total downward force is equivalent to the upward force so that we have to first find out the total force acting on the sphere in downward direction downward motion and which is the equivalent to the total downward force which is equal to the weight of the sphere and this is the thing but the that is the mg weight of the sphere that is equal to mg that means the total downward force is equal to its weight mg that is the weight of the sphere then therefore this total downward force which is equal to 4/3 pi r cube rho g total downward force is equal to 4/3 pi r cube rho into g how it can be the form this 4/3 pi r cube rho g is as it is then 4/3 pi r cube for that purpose we have to consider the rho be the density of the medium under the gravity and we know that the density is nothing but what it is the mass per unit volume therefore we have to write here the rho is equal to m by v that is the mass per unit volume then we have to find out the first m therefore m is equal to v into rho and v is the volume of the sphere and we know that the volume of the sphere is nothing but the 4/3 pi r cube into rho v is nothing but the volume of the sphere and that is the 4/3 pi r cube rho substituting this value m here m value of this m is nothing but what 4/3 pi r cube rho 
and into G for third pi r cube rho into G. This is the weight of the sphere equivalent to the total downward force during this motion, force acting on the sphere during the downward direction, downward motion, which is equal to 4 third pi r cube rho into G. Okay. Now, we have to have seen here as the downward force, that is the velocity increases, then the viscous force also increases. And the stage will be the reach at that time, which the sphere can be attained, the terminal velocity. And when the, the sphere falling through this medium, which can be attained the terminal velocity at that time, the total downward force is equal to total upward force. When the sphere attained the terminal velocity, which can be the balanced at that time, total downward force is equivalent to the total upward force. Then we have to find out here directly this 4 third pi r cube rho g, which is the downward force. But this total upward force, which is nothing but the sum of the two forces, and these forces are nothing but the upthrust force and the viscous force. Therefore, we can write here total downward force is equal to sum of viscous force and the upthrust force. Then we have to substitute here the value of all these forces. Then we have to substitute here the total downward force, which is nothing but the 4 third pi r cube rho into g. 4 third pi r cube rho into g. You know that this r is the radius, rho is the density of the this medium under the gravity and g is the acceleration due to the gravity. And then the viscous force, we recently seen this point, viscous force acting on the sphere and which is nothing but the 6 pi eta rv. Viscous force is nothing but 6 pi eta rv. This is we have taken from the Stokes law. The viscous force acting on the small sphere falling through the medium is directly proportional to radius, velocity and the coefficient of viscosity we have to take in here, the constant terms and uh, which is directly proportional to velocity and the r. Therefore, 6 pi eta rv is nothing but the viscous force and upthrust force which is the same as the 4 third pi r cube only density of the liquid is sigma into g. Viscous force 6 pi eta rv and upthrust force 4 third pi r cube sigma g. Then we have to solve this. 6 pi eta rv this term is as it is. This is the plus term can we take here which is the minus. Then what will happen? 6 pi eta rv is as it is. Then 4 third pi r cube rho g minus this side take this side. It should be minus 4 third pi r cube sigma g. This side can take in this side. This should be minus. Then we have to take the common here 4 third pi r cube and the g. We can write here g. And various term is only these two densities that is the rho minus sigma. 6 pi eta rv is equal to 4 third pi r cube rho minus sigma into g. Then we have to find out the terminal velocity that is the v and therefore v is equal to we have to this remaining terms which can be taken on these sides which is the dividing. Then 4 third pi r cube rho minus sigma into g and remaining term 6 pi eta r this is 1 upon 6 pi eta r v. Okay. Then take the simplest form that is the 2 3 the 6 2 to 4 and uh, 3 into 3 9 remaining term 2 by 9 then this pi is also cancelled 1 r should be cancelled from this r cube remaining term is the r square 2 by 9 into r square rho minus sigma into g and only it is there that is the terminal velocity v is equal to 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g upon eta that is the coefficient of viscosity v is equal to 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g upon eta. This is the expression for terminal velocity of a sphere which are falling through the viscous fluid. And uh, this is the last point, the terminal velocity and its expression. Sometimes this uh, formula 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g upon eta 
it was the numerical and by using this formula we can find out turbulent velocity okay this is the end of this second chapter mechanical properties of fluids okay you have to understand well thank you